Yeah, um, welcome to Doki's Advice. We are here again in Luak Hospital in Rarieda County, Siaya. Um, today, um, I have found out that there's a special program um, in this um, hospital, which I want to introduce to you guys. I've seen this program in, in Europe and in the USA. They call it Disease Management Program. But there's a style they're doing it here. I really like it. And I'm even thinking of taking over that also uh, back home. Yes, um, I have our matron over here. She will just introduce the program to us and tell us um, what is happening and um, how they're helping the patients with the program. Okay, good morning. So in our hospital we have diabetic hypertension clinic whereby we have patients coming from different places uh, further than catchment areas. Uh, like uh, as every week we see 54 patients, both hypertension and diabetic patients. And uh, in the clinic we have a total of about 600 clients we see but they are divided into eight groups they come usually on wednesday every week we meet them whereby we give health education after health education they go to see their clinician who usually see them after that they are, they take their drugs from the pharmacy their prescriptions because they have different prescriptions but we meet them every wednesday and we book them after every two months. So how do you book the patients? You know, here there are a lot of challenges. I'm wondering how do you get those patients from the deeper village to come over here? Yeah, when they, you see when a patient comes, we always check their blood pressures and also we check their sugars. And here we get the patients with high blood pressures, those with high blood sugars, and we book them in the clinic. Others, when they come, they come from this clinic, they go back and share this information in the villages, and those attending the, the other clinics, they prefer coming here, and that's how we get these clients. Okay. Yeah. And could you please tell us how um, this program is financed? Because um, the patients are coming, I think, by motorbikes. You can see some... Motor, uh, some um, uh, motorbikes over here. So um, how, how is this um, um, project financed? Because it's a lot of work and um, you also have to be there, you have to prepare and all of these things. Just explain to us um, how, how do you go by this and what are the challenges you're facing? It is not really financed by anybody but we depend on the patients. When they come, the little they give for their drugs is the, the little we depend on. There's nobody financing them or sponsoring them. Yeah. Okay, so if possible, um, if I understand correct, it is possible to like um, sponsor patients by um, um, financing, giving the drugs. For example, if we know that the patients have blood pressure or sugar and they cannot afford them, you know the patients very well, mm -hmm. then we could um, also um, like uh, promote um, the, the, the management plan and um, finance this program so that those patients who don't have the money for the drugs can also be sorted out. Do you think this could be a good idea to support the program? Yeah, it is. Because sometimes as a facility we go further sponsoring them like with those two using the NHIF, NHIF forms we pay for them the half of the fee because they are supposed to pay for 500 shillings per month for the NHIF form but uh, you find some clients they can't afford that one so it is upon us to step in and at least give them a half of the money so that we can pay for them so that they can get their drugs yeah. So for those who don't know, 500 shillings are $5, around $5, 5 euros or less. Um, yeah, per month. You said per month. Yes. Okay, so if you're there and you're saying, hey, I want to support a patient for a whole year, for 12 months, with $5 or 5 euros per month, I welcome you to join this uh, program and, and you can donate your fees to our non-profit organization, Doki's Advice, to PayPal, and we will direct this to the hospital, and you will get the information which patient got which drugs and the names of the patients so that you can be able to support them for a long time. $5 are... For those who live in Europe, not so much money. So please, now, Changam Keni. Is there anything you want to tell us about the plan? Uh, not really, but uh, the way you've said that, uh, we are also requesting for those who can support us. 
because these patients they come from different backgrounds some can't even afford five shillings to buy a drug so if we can get somebody who can support them we'll be very appreciative okay yeah. okay thank you very much so how long have you been working in this hospital now let us talk about something else i believe you know every every edge and every hidden place here in this in this yes. home Tell us about your, your experience, life experience in the hospital. Yeah, in the, I've, I've been here for around 12 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I know everything in this hospital. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and what has been your experience um, in the last 12 years? What have, been, have you been observing the good things or the bad things or things which you regret or the sad situations? Yeah, what I can say, the people of Asembo, they, de they depend on donations mm. mostly, but we have problems. Now, when it comes to part of paying the hospital bills, it has been a problem. Mm. So, because there is just a body here with the CDC, they always chip in in some diseases but for hypertension diabetic they don't pay anything for them so i think it has been a very big challenge yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah very interesting thank you very much uh, matron we don't want to take much more of your time um she's taking off the patients uh, behind there they're waiting for her we thank you very much for being open and uh yeah we're still enjoying our stay <laughs> thank you very much yes this is Doki's advice. Um, you have heard yourself. You have seen the challenges here um, in our village. Um, I invite you to like, share, comment, follow our page. Um, get us sponsors. Get us donators. Hey, people, five dollars. Fun for you, for sisters. Let's come. You can support one to five patients if you want to. For a whole year, I will create on our website a, a, a donation plan for this patient so that you may be able to support them with one click. So stay tuned. You'll get more videos soon. Bye-bye.